Hello everyone! Let's cover a cake with fondant. So I have mixed a couple yellow colors to get the color I wanted for my fondant. I achieved this color by using Emery Color Electric Yellow and Shaft Masters um, Lemon Yellow. So I combined those colors and then I kneaded the fondant a lot to make it more elastic and then um, I rolled it out. As you can see, this is a pillow cake and I have filled um, the cake and then also crumb coated and then refrigerated um, to harden the buttercream before I was ready to add my fondant. So now you can see I'm adding the fondant and covering the cake uh, completely, making sure all the edges and everything is covered properly with my hand. And then I am going to use this tool to make sure that underneath the cake is also covered with the fondant properly. After that, I'm going to cut the extra fondant uh, and make it uh, a clean uh, look for the cake. Then I'm using some extra fondant to smooth out the cake. Um, I just use this extra fondant so that um, I don't have to give my um, fingerprint on the cake. And then I am making the quilt design here. I do have a quilt uh, design tool, but in here I'm just using... Um... Let's complete the pillow cake that we started. So I am here using this stitching tool that I got from Craft Store. And basically what it does is that going to give you um, a stitching imprint on the cake that's going to look like a more realistic quilt design. You can get this too from any craft store or Amazon. Now I am here creating some bright green color fondant. To achieve the color, I use two different green color, forest green and leaf green. I am trying to basically create a dupatta or a urna that traditionally worn in the Southeast Asia. I used some dowels underneath the green fondant to create that pleats and now I'm putting them on the cake and basically to make the cake more sticky in order to uh, attach the extra fondant design I am using a steamer to make it a little bit stickier. Once I added my dupatta design on both sides now it's time to create some decorations. These are the fondant decorations it's a lot of fun to create these decorations using the molds. Stay tuned for the next one to show you how um, I added these decorations on the cake. See you soon. Hello everyone. As promised, let's finish decorating this pillow cake. Um, you have seen in the last video how I created these fondant decorations and now I am adding them on my cake. So usually the dupatta edges are more decorative so I am making sure that it does reflect on the cake. This is for a Mendi event. Mendi is a ceremony that is celebrated by Southeast Asian um, before the actual wedding. This is like a pre-wedding festival. Usually it's very colorful and very fun night, so um, the cake needs to be reflecting that as well. And now that I'm finishing up the decorations, um, just uh, as you see, I have to add a little bit of extra water to make the decoration stick to the cake um, because the steamer, um, you know, when you steam it, it makes it sticky. But as you work on the cake, the stickiness goes away. But um, you'll have to be uh, careful on um, not overusing the steamer or else you're going to melt the fondant and the shape of it. Right. So you need to be just um, extra careful on that. I am going to actually finish this cake in the next video so you can see the complete look of this cake. But yeah, stay tuned and enjoy the whole decorations of this uh, fun cake. See you in the next video. In here, I'm going to create a nameplate. So I'm cutting out the fun letters and then also I'm going to add the date of the event and then putting that on a piece of fondant to create the nameplate. Um, this is one of the tedious part of uh, cake decoration, uh, but I personally think this adds uh, a lot, of, lot to the cake presentation. So it is important to have this. And while I'm completing this decoration, let's talk about the 
daisy cake in general. So daisy cakes, what we call is basically Southeast Asian um, cultural uh, cake designs that, you know, especially goes during um, uh, the wedding festivities, right? So we have uh, several wedding festivities that, that happens. And for every occasion, we like to go big, right? So um, if you guys already know, then you know how much fun we have with our events. Um, but yeah, it just um, it just reflects on um, on our uh, our clothings, our food, our events, and and just you know in general in everywhere. So the cake also represents um, that part of the culture as well. Um, in here, you can see I am decorating uh, with antique gold. Some of this decoration uh, it, it brings out the color so much nicer. And I love using this liquid gold. It's a bit expensive than having the powder gold and then adding um, lemon juice or something. Uh, but but I, I like it because in one coat, you can actually cover everything. And it uh, uh, really brings out the entire design of the cake. So enjoy this cake. And I hope uh, you liked the entire tutorial. Let me know in the comment sections. Thanks. Bye.